Michael Britt, welcome to the Digital Scene Show Thank you. here at uh, Collision Conference. Uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what your conference is about. Well, it's about the collision of stills and motion and how all these new hybrid cameras like the Canon 5D Mark II, uh, the Panasonic GH1, some of the Nikons, and then the RED camera is part of this discussion as well, how they allow uh, photographers and cinematographers to cross over into each other's realms. So uh, a motion camera capturing at a high enough shutter speed can capture 30 frames a second versus clicking one frame per sec, you know, in a, in a sequence. Sure. So uh, it opens up a whole new realm of delivering uh, motion to clients for new media like uh, websites, cell phones, and things like that uh, from a photographer's perspective, and it lets cinematographers who might be able to go after the ad campaigns for the jobs they're shooting and deliver stills and the motion. So it's just kind of this point in history where the technology is allowing the crossover for people with uh, that are digital image makers. Yeah, it's an interesting time uh, right now because, like you said, with like the 5D, I mean, I think one of your speakers, Vince Lafarette, right? shot like an entire movie with the 5D. Yeah, he shot a, a short film with a that. A short film, right? Uh, he, he has, yes. So and then Rodney Charters has shot episodes of 24 he incorporates with the, with the Canon 5D, and no he did kidding. a pilot where he mixes red and 5D footage. But the person who shot a whole movie, actually I think the first movie shot with a DSLR is um, later today, and it's, uh, it's called Rejoiner and it was shot on the Panasonic GH1. So, and he'll be showing clips from that. And, and the reason you're starting to see this crossover is why? Why, why? why all of a sudden are camera manufacturers putting in high def movies and why, more importantly, DPs are looking at a 5D and going like, I want to shoot with this. Well, it's interesting. I think uh, from, from what I can tell from talking to people at Canon and just around in the, in the photography world, um, the new, a news agency went to Canon and said, we want a camera that shoots stills and video so our guys, because you know, journalists have been shooting video and taking two cameras with them for quite a, to a while now. And so they asked for this. So Canon made it for the photojournalist market. And I think that the movie making side of it caught them totally by surprise in this whole upswell of interest in, hey, we can shoot video that looks as good as cinematographers. Uh, everyone's just really going nuts. It's, it's an exciting time in photography at a time when the business of photography is kind of in the doldrums. Sure. And now the technology is something that is exciting everybody so and, and the beautiful thing I think with DSLR is it are the lenses right is that why oh. they're being adapted so quickly yeah it's the lenses and, and also the size of the chip uh, the the bigger the chip is the the shallower depth of field you're going to be able to achieve that's right and so you the get that motion. is full frame right yes right. and so even above the red and, and even traditional film cameras it's a large chip right. and so you can really throw things out of focus and give it that filmic look and uh, I think that's what's exciting people. And then from the movie side of things, who, you know, like Shane Hurlbut, the DP of uh, Terminator uh, uh, Salvation, he's speaking. He can have any camera he wants. He's got the budgets and the crews and all that. He's picking the Canon 5D because I, I saw a clip, and I hope he talks about it tonight. He, he's using it to get in small spaces and do things that would normally like be uh, tons and tons of work, you know, cutting ships in half. I, I saw a clip. Uh, somebody shot behind the scenes on his uh, Navy SEAL movie and uh, instead of like doing a cross section of a hatch and having a camera follow up on a crane as someone climbs a ladder, he's in the submarine with VR goggles and a 5D climbing the ladder behind the, the actor. That's and crazy. so I, I think uh, you see filmmakers getting excited because it lets them do stuff that's not possible with giant movie cameras. Right, right, right. Now this is the first year of the Collision Conference? Absolutely. Do you plan on doing this again? Uh, yes, I think there's enough excitement and I would like to see this build into a, into a bigger show. Um, and, and you know, we're, the first year we just wanted to start the conversation and find out who's interested, who's doing what. Um, I, and I think um, we marketed to our core audience of Hollywood, you know, filmmakers and our clients and as image mechanics, which are the photography community. Um, I, I would like to see um, I would like to see future events have you know more educational tracks in different areas, though you know wedding photography and photojournalism and music videos, and, sure. and I think those that conversation can keep growing, and, and therefore I think the conference can grow with that. It seems that pretty soon there's not going to be a distinction between a photographer and a videographer and a DP, right? I mean, they, they need ultimately you need to have a good eye, right? Regardless oh, I of think what it's you do, it's image maker. It's I think image that's, maker. Right? Yeah, people. I, I see uh, what was the term I saw? Cinema, cinema photographers. You know, there's people throwing all kinds of hybrid terms 
around. Sure. But I, I think ultimately it comes down to your if you're a visual storyteller, you're an image maker. Right. Um, the tools are are now in your hands to do motion, stills, whatever. But I think ultimately the the cream rises to the top, and the the image makers are going to be the ones who get the work. Definitely. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Thank you for being no, on the I digital scene. It. And if people want to go find out more about Collision, where do they go? Um, right, uh, the show site is Image Mechanics Expo, and then Collision Conference is this one. So we're going to keep that site up for a while and probably post podcasts and video snippets. And I, I probably will continue the show blog with some articles uh, there. So it's be Image Mechanics Expo slash blog. And uh, check that out. Perfect. Michael, good okay. to meet you. Thank you. It was nice to meet you, too.